Good evening. A pedestrian was taken to hospital early this morning after being struck by a vehicle. Lloydminster RCMP say the collision happened on College Drive and Highway 16 just after 630. Now the pedestrian was taken to hospital with undetermined injuries. The crash is under investigation. It's not known if charges will be laid. Well, the city of Lloydminster has given our streets a nearly $2 million makeover. 16 locations are being targeted, mainly intersections and roads that have deteriorated over the years. We get lots of uh, people complaining about um, uh, the shape our roads are in, the amount of potholes, um, you know, uh, problems with our roads. So it's important that we go in and rehabilitate it. The city says some minor work has already begun, but the bulk of it will happen in August. College Drive is probably uh, one of the bigger ones. Um, we'll be doing an overlay program from 36th Street uh, down to 25th Street. Now, crews will also be working on 50th Avenue from 36th Street to 43rd Street and 13th to 25th Street. The city says it's aiming to have as much of the work completed before winter. Now, for a full list of areas getting work done, you can head to blademinster.ca. A local company is reaching out to those in need nationwide through its new clothing initiative. Now, the Each Week t-shirts and sweatshirts will promote a different initiative and $8 from each purchase will go to a national cause. We like to make shirts and we like to help people, so we figured this would be a great way to do both things at the same time. And we've seen um, different business models similar to this, and we thought that it would be really great to just start something like that on our own. This week, money raised is going to the Alberta flood relief efforts. The design and printing work is all done in a socially responsible manner right here in the border city. All the clothing we use is uh, made in North America. It's sweatshop free. Uh, we're very careful about that and uh, none of the printing and work is outsourced at all. This design says Alberta flood relief and then the other designs say uh, flood our hearts. So I think they all just kind of stemmed from that and I just got inspiration from Alberta itself and then just the awesome response that we've seen throughout the community. Now the t-shirts are being sold online at causeshirts.org and by way of social media the company has already received orders from across the country.